How's it going out there, YouTube? My name is Jesse, and I am the curator for the Golden Age, and this is another Lost Heroes of the Golden Age. Yes, this is another Lost Heroes of the Golden Age, and this is an interesting one. It's something that comes out of Nador Comics at... Oh... Really? All our time have come Here but now they're gone Seasons don't fear the reaper Don't do the wind, the sun or the rain It can be like they are Okay, okay, that's enough! Why are you singing B.O.C.? It's Don't Fear the Reaper. Oh, I know it's Don't Fear the Reaper. Okay. Um, I never thought that I could play that song so much that I'd actually like to not listen to it for a while. Anyways, um, we are covering the Grim Reaper from the Door comic books. I find this one kind of weird. Um, a lot of times in the Golden Age... Not always, though, because I've actually found this. A comic book likes to stay kind of true to the way it starts. Well, the door gets a little weird like that. I mean, like, how the comic book starts and the costumes and, and the premise usually stays the same. The Reaper story, although it kind of evolves... It keeps changing from, like, the starting premise stays for a while, but the costume changes, and then the location changes, and then the story kind of changes. So, although it, it does mix things up a bit so you don't get bored with just having the same old, same old, I kind of wish for the... 17, 18, 19 appearances, they would have kind of stayed the course. I mean, like, if they were doing a 100 issues, I really would have liked them to mix it up more. But for the 19 appearances, they could have just done the same thing, and I would have been fine with that. Um, I don't discuss the Grim Reaper's powers in the origin. He really doesn't have much. I mean, he seems to be an expert marksman. And he seems to be an aviator. Um, among that, he's a superhero. Or, well, not a superhero. He is a hero. So, let's go over the Grim Reaper and we'll cover his first appearance. So, you can see what the plans for um, this character was going forward if Nador actually did have any solid plans for him. So, let's get into the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper, William Bill Norris, first appeared in Fighting Inc. number 7 in 1944. The original publisher was Nador, and he was created by Richard E. Hughes and Al Kamey. I believe I'm saying that right. C-A-M-Y. Now, he did appear in three publications, but he was mainly a fixture in Wonder Comics. Besides the Wonder Comics, he did appear in Fighting Inc. number 7 and America's Biggest Comic Books number 1. Now, America's Biggest Comic Books is where he would have the largest bit of costume chaming, uh, change. The cape and cowl were purple with a Grim Reaper on the back. But in the America's Biggest Comic Books, the whole thing was a lighter blue, which was different than in the other two uh, publications. I do think it was interesting in that one. He actually steals the Zeppelin, brings it to England. And when England says, how can reward you? He says, I want a plane back to Europe so I can continue fighting Nazis. Um, in the Fighting Yank, in the beginning of the Wonder Comics, they, they show his outfit. It's the purple cape and cowl, white t-shirt, and what appears to be purple pants. But in the Fighting Yank comics, in the first two appearance of Wonder Comics... If you read the issues, the outfit 
shows a lot of the white on the t-shirt, but it's heavily black. Even in the second appearance where he, where they actually do, or his second Wonder Comic Books number two, his third appearance, that he even talks about how he wants the costume to be black. Now, I know that black is not an unheard of thing back in the 1940s, but I think they changed it to white because they also had the Black Terror as part of the Nador comics, and he wore a scroll and crossbones on his chest. Now, the Grim Reapers wore the scroll and crossbones on his uh, cape, but I could easily see how these two characters could get mixed up or conflated to be one or the other. So I think that's why they had the major costume change, because it could have easily have gotten those two mixed up. So, um, the Grim Reaper is, is also interesting, because he shows his origin story in the second appearance of, or second issue of Wonder Comics, which is his third appearance, which is usually unusual. When heroes start in a comic... They're either the hero in their first issue and they and you accept the fact that he exists or they will give you an origin story by his first or second appearance. Now, he gets an origin story, but not until his third appearance. So what I'm going with is his appearance in a fight in the fighting yank was a debut just to show people who he is. He has his first official appearance in Wonder Comics number one, and then we get his origin in number two. Now, the Grim Reaper would be the premiere cover and the premiere story in Wonder Comics up until number seven. Now, he would still be the cover in number eight, but that would be his last cover appearance. His last featured story was number seven. His last cover was number eight. Now, by the time we move to Wonder Comics number nine, the Grim Reaper is back in the U.S., all except for one issue where he will go to Japan, and I believe that is issue 15, and he comes back into the U.S. Now, while he's over in, uh, he's in Europe for his first eight issues, and he does kill people. He normally either used a knife or a rope that he always carried on them. So he either stabbed them or choked them, sometimes broke their neck. Now, he did carry a gun with him that he occasionally used, and sometimes he would use guns from the opponents. So killing people was not a something that he was he wouldn't do. I mean, he was the Grim Reaper. And it was interesting and also kind of dark, because he would leave a calling card that says, claimed by the Grim Reaper. This is a hero letting people know that the Grim Reaper has taken their life. That's kind of dark for a hero. Now, when he would come back into the U.S., he wouldn't kill people um, intentionally after that. He would still use the knife and rope, and he was going after gangsters, but they would usually take the entire issue of his story to take them down. And I believe being in the U.S., it was more frowned upon for him to kill people. That's why the killing stopped. Now, when he did go to Japan, he killed a number of Asian soldiers. But in the U.S., he didn't intentionally kill anybody. And... Honestly, when he stopped fighting Nazis over in Europe, I think the quality of the publication went down. I mean, he's known for being the Grim Reaper and taking out his heroes. And in the U.S., he was just like any other hero. He wouldn't intentionally kill people. He got subdued and tied up and captured on more than one occasions, escaped from means that are completely inexplicable, and always took down the villain by the end of his comics. There's nothing compelling about that. I've covered dozens of heroes on this channel, if not hundreds. I, I know I've got over 200 videos who are exactly the same way in the Golden Age. The compelling part about him was he was in Europe killing the Nazi soldiers 
and furthering the efforts of the Allies. He would sometimes uh, dress in disguises so he either wouldn't be noticed or he could get to places that he couldn't as the Grim Reaper. He wasn't scared of the enemy. He even stated that. And when he came back in the U.S., he just became another gang-busting superhero. They're, that's not compelling. So they really stuck should have they really should have stuck to the format that he was known for: taking out the Nazi soldiers, killing them, and then leaving the calling card. It may be dark, but that's what made him so popular. When he stopped doing that. He stopped being the premier feature. He stopped being the premier story. A number of his issues, we're talking about buying war bonds. They even stopped promoting war bonds in his comics afterwards. And his last few issues, they didn't even say Grim Reaper in another story of. So, the format should have stayed where he was. He might not have lost the cover or... Because he did lose the cover, this is what they turned him into. But that, that that's just my opinion on the Grim Reaper. Now we're going to go ahead and cover his first appearance. So you can see that he was more of a subversive um, enemy to the Nazis. Where he didn't always take direct action. He did a lot of sabotage. He worked with the Allies and sometimes the underground units to make sure that they freed Europe. Now, by the time that the Grim Reaper comics came out, the Nazis didn't occupy Europe anymore. They were, let's see, in one of the notes here I found, in the real world, the Nazis occupied Paris until June 14, 1940. So, I mean, by the time his comic came out and what he was doing, the idea of the Nazis were already gone. Which, I guess in my day and age, I would love to just see this guy fighting Nazis for a hundred issues. But back then, the ideas of superheroes, once we weren't fighting the Nazis anymore, America really just didn't care about the tyranny overseas. I mean, I believe World War II was over by 1942. It's really disappointing how once we won the war, we didn't even give two craps anymore. But the Green Reaper, he became just like every other superhero. The quality wasn't there. And I think that's what ended to the end of his publication. So let's go ahead and cover the first issue so you can see what fascinated me so much about this guy. And you can form your opinion on whether they should have stayed the course or whether changing him was a good idea. Uh, just before I get this video started, I will put a side-by-side -side comparison of the Grim Reaper and the Black Terror. And since I've never researched either of them before, they were both created by Richard E. Hughes, which lends a lot more credence to what I was saying about how I think that people could have gotten confused with them being the same person, which could have led to the palette change. Color palette change. The Grim Reaper in The Heart of a Patriot. Can terror destroy the hunger in a man's heart for freedom? The humble people of conquered Europe answered with their lives. No, but a little paper hanger brooding in Berlin tries to drown out the answers with his firing squad and the hangman's noose. But terror is a two-edged weapon, and out of the pain and sorrow of the people rises a figure, silent, relentless, deadly who brings fear to the oppressors and hope to the oppressed, the Grim Reaper. And this is just a great splash page right here. It, it's, it, it is truly awesome. You see the Grim Reaper going in and the soldiers <laughs> blow, the Nazi soldiers just running in terror. I mean, come on, a Grim Reaper has showed up. What else do you do? Okay, so we start the story up at Gestapo headquarters in a small town in Berlin. So we see this guy who looks like he's dressed in machinist clothes, is talking to, well, it's the Gestapo leader, telling him that he has, uh, here's a list of names they are planning to sabotage the plant, Captain Gruber. 
Um, as he goes, as he checks out the list and goes to pay the man, he realizes that the man is dead and you see a knife in his chest. Before he can call for the guards, he is strangled to death. That of the following morning, Hey, Lieutenant, there is a card here. Let me see. It may be a clue to the murderer. Claim by the Grim Reaper. That's a little dark for a hero. It really is. Okay. In the wake of the panic, the Grim Reaper, my gold, called all troops, support the neighbors. He must not escape us. Now, it, it's, it's been several hours since the Grim Reaper is there. They discovered him in the morning and so he's nowhere around, but they don't know how long it's been since he's been gone. So they're all over the place. The iron fist of Nazi brutality strikes. Every house will be searched. The Grim Reaper must be captured at all costs. Now, the Grim Reaper is back at the Army Intelligence Building. And he said that he received a message from them and wants to know how he can assist. He's not affiliated with any of the governments, but assisting them helps further the cause. Let's see, the Nazis have found a way to stop us from bombing their air drones. If anyone can help us, it's you, Grim Reaper. And they let him in on the information that they have. He says that he's going to go wipe out the airports. And there's like, that's too big a job even for you. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go rescue a whole bunch of freedom fighters. And they say, let's see, I believe you're right. A true patriot is worth a hundred of Hitler's victims. Will such a patriot rise to the emergency to risk his life shoulder to shoulder with the Grim Reaper in the War of Freedom? Turn the page then, for such a saga is for the saga of such a man is about to begin. And we go over to I I, I want to say it's a metal plant because when we get a little bit farther down, we see that they're they're um working with some, some things that are, okay, a huge munition plant pours out weapons for Hitler. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with this being a metal plant. So they're filing, they're filing workers in. Uh, look at Anton Gustin, Peter. He smiles. It's only been two weeks since Nazis killed his wife and baby. Mark my words, Anton. Or mark my words, Anton is up to something. And Anton is indeed up to something. He finally gets a couple of Nazi soldiers in his grasp, and he dumps the molting liquid on top of them, which I, I'm not going to give an opinion on that as for my feelings on it. Now to get away from the gorillas. So as he's trying to go around the corner, he's accosted by a couple of guards and he starts to fight them off single handedly and they end up getting the upper hand. There, there were more of him. Uh, Dunn finishes the swine. A now quick execution. As they're hauling the prince, the uh, prisoner away, we see this man right here. Hmm. I think the Grim Reaper knows just the man to help him in his work. Another disguise from the Grim Reaper, is it? So he gets tried by the Nazi judge. Yeah, we can understand. We could probably understand the uh, reins of justice in the Nazi society. I sentence you to be publicly hanged as a lesson to all those who still dream of fighting the invincible might of the Nazi of Nazi Germany. Yeah, we saw how that turned out in the end. Okay, so they are bringing out a whole bunch of criminals who are going to be hanged, and these guys are going to be made examples of. He is the first one to be hanged, and. Some of these people are hanged. Some of these are just the townspeople, you know, so they can see this is what happens if you defy us. So there's this guy in a purple suit. And I really don't know how Nazi executions were done, so I don't know how accurate this is. The guy in suit and top hat kicks Anton. And as he's getting ready to start hanging, but careful preparations have been made by another and suddenly crack. Zing. Um, okay. A fearsome figure sweeps through the air. This is where I come in. Something you didn't expect. And the Grim Reaper knocks a couple of the people off the platform, grabs onto Antoine, and they swing away into a nearby building. Uh, fool, under your very nose, he steals our victim. And this part's a little perplexing. They, they come through the window... 
And Anton, oh no, it was the Grim Reaper who said this. God, I got to start reading these slower. Make your way to the Ren Reaper and jump. I've got a motorcycle waiting there. I thought Antoine had the motorcycle waiting and I was like, he didn't know he was going to survive. Yeah, I got to re really start reading these slower. Okay, so the Grim Reaper and Anton get away. Uh, what do you want me to do? I'm ready. Get set for a surprise. You're heading to a concentration camp. What? Okay, so the Grim Reaper wants him to get taken into the concentration camp. So he starts beating up a couple of the guards and he gets ushered in. And as soon as nobody is paying attention to these guards, the Grim Reaper takes out one with a knife and knocks out the other with a guard and talks about how he has chloroform for the control room. Got to the control room rather quickly. So most of the guards are in the administration building. I've thrown the switch. I've thrown the switch, which closes its doors and windows. It's electric. It's electric controlled. Will open the barracks doors. I hope Anton is ready. So he starts triggering all these doors. Most of the most of the uh, guards are held into a room, while most of the prisoners are let free. The Grim Reaper had better know what he's doing. Ah, this is good. Taking the prisoners out to work. To out. I hate reading these. Ah, this is good. Taking the prisoners out to work building roads for our panzers. Good. Very good. I, I know it's, it's so we can distinguish them being Ger Germans. It's, it, it's a little infer infuriating to read sometimes. So um, he realizes that the soldiers are being ushered out, or the prisoners are being ushered out there without guards. So as he goes into the control room, fine, sleeping on duty, I will have him shot. And there is a letter claimed by the Grim Reaper. So he realizes the Grim Reaper is in the facility and he's they're going to head to the airport, obviously. So he's going to have a surprise ready for them. Everything's gone smoothly so far. Now comes the hardest part. They'll probably be watching for us at the airfield, but it's worth the risk. I'm going ahead to distract the guards. When I get there, dash for the planes. If you can take that risk, if you can take a risk like that, we're with you. Yeah, if somebody can distract all the guards, I would take a risk too. Anyways, um, the Grim Reaper gets on scene and the criminals get the drop on him because he didn't know that they knew. But he's quickly able to dispatch a number of the guards. And as they're coming away with him, he sees a palm carriage and he uses it as a weapon, which I have to say is impressive. But he didn't quite look where he was going, and he ends up dropping into the gasoline storage tank. So the um, we shall drown you, mit gasol. We will mit gasoline. Do you really have to put an M there for that? Anyways, they close the lid, and it starts to fill up with gas. Now the soldiers have lost sight of the Grim Reaper because um, he's on the other side of the hangar, so they think that everything is set up for them, but. They are uneasy because he says it feels too easy. Now, we see this. He's like, cutting these toe holds should do it. Just a few more feet to go. Okay. The fuel storage bins are made with brick. Con I mean, you, you can see it's made with brick. His knife is cutting into the brick. I'm not quite sure on the toughness of knives cutting into bricks. Theoretically, it's possible, but it's going to wear down the knife. And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to use the suspension of disbelief to believe that he's doing this, but I find this escape a little contrived and kind of unnecessary. I mean, I understand we're trying to build the tension, but he gets out... As soon as he gets in, that means it's essentially unnecessary. Anyways, he gets out. Anton and the pilots are here. I've got to stop the Nazis before they open fire. So 
he tosses the a grenade that he has at the building that the Nazis are in, but he also says, um, here's an idea, the gas hose should make hot make it hot for those rats. And you look at the next page and you can see liquid coming from the hose. So he's using a combination of the fuel and a grenade to blow up the building. That's got to be a horrifying way to die. Some minutes later, I shall return with our soldiers when we open for a second frontier. And the uh, Grim Reaper bids them a goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I knew they were patriots to carry on the flight against tyranny everywhere. And the planes start to fly off into the sky with the freedom fighters. And we'll go ahead and read the very last thing in this panel here. A lone figure waves goodbye to the airmen of freedom, for the Grim Reaper remains to carry on his deadly work against the enemy of the world. Do your share, reader. Buy the war bonds and stamps. That will hasten victory. And then four months later, he would premiere in Wonder Comics. And you can see why I said I don't believe his original outfit was attend was intending to be the outfit that he uh, would ultimately end up wearing. Okay, I hope you've been enjoying October so far. We've got one more hero coming up before the month is over. And um, it's going to have to be seen to believe. So until then, I'll be seeing you.